Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to work on an eye for the more realistic kind of uh, drawings. You guys uh, had mentioned that you wanted more, you know, like we're going to try to do different things together. Like we'll do the eyes, try to make them more realistic and then go from there. Um, I think that's great. Um, I'm going to use a pencil. Try to keep it as sharp as you can because that will help as well. I cannot find my other, I don't have any clue where my other pencil sharpener is, but um, try to keep it as sharp as you can. You can use a mechanical pencil. You guys um, asked if I would try to do this a few times without my circle template and um, using a regular pencil rather than the mechanical. So I will try to do both, um, you know, different kind of things. So I just have a cheap, pencil sharpener from Walmart, the dollar store, wherever, you know, I think this one, I got two in a pack and I'm just giving it a sharpen. All right. So I did lines here with my ruler. I did an inch apart just so we can kind of see, you know, a little bit, you know, you can see a little bit better on here and it gives me a little bit better to kind of draw. So I know that I want to, I want to do the eye ball. And I just kind of, I wanted to, let's just try it. This is going to be way too big. Okay. So that'll be the eyeball in between. And then we want to kind of do the eye lid. So you want the bottom of your eye where I always do it in the middle. So I kind of go like this because then that cuts your eye for your eyeball, as you can see. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make it go on the bottom line and kind of, I'm going to try different, something different here. We'll see. Like that's like your middle of your eye, which is kind of curved. And then this kind of meets here. I mean, everybody got different shaped eyes, so it's really not, you know what I mean? It's not that big of a deal. Okay. So that's what I have there. Now I'm going to take my eraser and just kind of erase this line for a little bit. Now this I like to use as like part of the eyelid, but I'm not going to do that this time. All right. So that's what we have left. So I'm going to go back and just kind of, now I can see this needs to be a little rounder. I am all for erasing. If you don't like to erase, I know some of you don't like to erase, then don't erase. I have to, it's just the way my brain works. It's the way I do everything. So I have that part of my eye and then I want my pupil, which is always in the middle. Now when I'm doing like whimsy girls and that kind of thing, I'll put like an eye, you know, the, um, pupil up here, you know, I'll do it in different ways, but it's really just try to hit the middle the best you can. Cause that's kind of where you want your pupil. And cause in realistic, you know, that's kind of what it is. We have like this little covering here and to shade the eye. I know it's always darker up here. We'll see. This is just me going myself. <laughs> um, we'll see. We'll see. I know around here is darker. I just want to get the shape. You know what I mean? Because when I'm doing a folk art girl, it's so different. Or my odd girl. So this kind of goes up here. And this kind of curves here because it's a circle like a ball. So you can, you know, like if I would have measured it with my circle uh, template or whatever, I would have had a better shape, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's not that big a deal. So I kind of want to, I know it's going to be lighter down here. So I'm just going to kind of put some little spokes, I guess would be the best way to say. And I'm going to put highlight up here. So then I think I'm going to go in and shade 
a little darker up here and then a little lighter down here and then like smudge it a little bit and I'll put highlights in kind of like that and then I want my pupil darker so I'm going to go in and color it in darker and this is just a Palomo B which is like a you know I mean I'm this is what I grabbed, but I have like, you know, number twos. That's kind of what I use. It's not a big number two. That's kind of what I use and hear me rapping. I still got it. All right. So, all right. So I want it lighter down here. So I'm going to take my eraser and kind of like lighten it a bit. Because then I can go back and make it dark. It's not a big deal. This girl, you know, or you guys know. I got eyelashes to do and I'm not good at eyelashes. All right. Now let's go back here, kind of take this over. Okay, so I'm kind of good with this. I'm gonna blend this a little bit. Now I'm gonna take and do just some highlight here, just erase it for now. And then I can go back in and play if I want. All right, so then I kind of have that. I think I might want this a little more curved going up, so I'm gonna take off some of this. Definitely harder than the odd girls. Give me a curve, give me a curve. Okay, so that would be for that, not too bad. And like I said, the kind of like you know, cause I'm not painting it right this second. So I'm just kind of putting in just a little bit. And like I said, you know, I got to find my little eraser or use my mechanical eraser at the end to kind of give me highlight there, but that's okay. And I want it shaded. I'm going to turn this way because I do want it shaded. So this kind of looks like a bird, doesn't it? Huh? I made a bird. I think I'm going to bring this shorter like this erase that. I'm not digging on that and I think I don't need it. You know? And kind of bring it up. Just like it's like a zoop. Kind of like that. Just to shorten it up a little bit. And now I'm gonna go in and kind of here's that part. I'm gonna kind of shade it. And a little bit of a shade down here. If you have a paper stump, you can use that to shade. Um, I'm gonna shade here. I just want it softer and it is darker in these areas. So I'm just gonna shade it and give it a little, a little rub. Okay just a little bit to kind of bring some of that like into the eyeball. And now let's see, now I'm going to go like, yes. Give it a little smear. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. And then the eyebrow should. There. I wish my eyebrows were like that on fleek. I know they have to be like, you know, we got to kind of draw like little hairs, which I, this is where like a sharp pencil, you know, would do good. But I know they're just like little teeny hairs. That's what you want to see. So that's not too bad. Okay. All right. I'm not hating, I'm not hating, but you know what's next. It's these freaking eyelashes, which I cannot do. All right, so I'm going in. I know that we have to kind of trace and give up. 
trace and give up. My thing is, is like, do they, are they all long the whole way? Okay, not bad, Kel, not bad. Not bad. Oh, not bad. Okay, now I need to go over a little again. All right. It's just, I'm just taking it and like sliding it like a, almost like a check mark kind of thing. Oh my God, they're not that bad. They're not that bad. I might pee my pants. Okay, now the bottom ones. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So you kind of do it and slide. That, oh God, nobody has them that long unless I put the fake ones on there. All right. That's the thing is knowing like how long. Oh, that's better. Okay. I'm gonna just kind of go over them again and kind of crisscross them a little bit just because that's what I've noticed. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I think I might, I think I might, I think I might. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. And I'm so excited, so I think we did an eye. I think we did an eye. All right, 11 minutes, we did an eye. I'm gonna show you up close, because I don't know how my camera, I'm having the worst problem with my camera. I need to find my, I know what I wanna do before I show you. I'm gonna kinda go in a bit. I'm gonna take my, eraser from this and I just want to put a highlight because you know I love the highlights whatever eyes I do so I just want to do a highlight and then I'm going to darken up oh here's my little here's my little scrubbies my little shadies that I use let's see if this will do anything because I really want this dark up here but you can use a Q-tip, remember. You don't have to use these. I'm just gonna go around the eyeball a little bit. Just to smudge it out. A little bit in these eyebrows. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I can't keep myself together. I can't, okay. And then I'll just kinda Okay, I better quit. I better quit. Okay. There you go. Real time. Real time. 12 minutes. Okay, let me erase this other line. Okay. Now here's what I'm going to tell you to do. And I'm going to see if this works. I probably should do it first. All right, take some matte Mod Podge or even white school glue, it doesn't matter what you have. Give it a dust. And I'm gonna just erase a little bit more of that. Take a paint brush. Oh, I gotta fill this. This is like my fifth one this month, I swear. Go in and just lightly cover it. So we can paint over it or colored pencil over it or whatever we want. This is my, this is what I'm gonna do. But I think what I'm gonna do first, not, not in this video, but the next video is the nose. And we'll do like half a face, you know, continue on and then color it or paint it, whatever we want. So remember, if you guys are doing this with me, Make sure you tag me. All my information is down below. If you would like to support me and my channel, my Patreon is down below as well as you can make just a single donation to my PayPal, which is down below. Or just give me a thumbs up and share me everywhere. That is supporting me as well. It makes me happy. Okay, all right, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna show you up close and then, hey, that's not bad. 11 minutes. There we go. So next we'll do the nose. Next we'll do the lips. 
do a face and then we'll paint it and we'll have it half. Oh, I'm so excited. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know about us. Somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. I can't even tell you guys. I hope this recorded um, because this camera is really just jacked. I don't know what is going on, but I'm thrilled with this and I can't wait to see what you guys do. Please share me everywhere. And if you are new to my channel and you would like to be subscribed, click the subscribe button down below. Click the bell next to it to be notified when I upload. This is just part of a series that I'm doing, uh, learning more realistic, um, you know, type uh, paintings and drawings. And I love you guys. I will see you. Remember progress, not perfection. Let me just show you one more time. Look. Okay. All right. Bye.